the chuck adjusts open and close to securely hold a drill bit, allowing you to use a variety of different sizes. There are three jaws in the chuck that clamp against the drill bit. After years of hard use, these jaws will wear, and your drill bit might begin to slip in the chuck. Sometimes a jaw can fatigue and break off. Replacing the chuck is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. Hi, I'm Mark Soja. Do-it-yourself repairs like these are easier than you might think. From lawn machines to cordless grills, kitchen mixers, outdoor grills, our how-to videos walk you through each repair from start to finish. So doing it yourself means never having to do it alone. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the old chuck from the drill. First, I'll open the chuck as wide as it'll go. Next, I'll remove the screw at the base of the chuck that secures the chuck to the spindle. Normally, this screw would be a reverse thread, but because this style of chuck uses a taper to secure it to the spindle, it's a regular thread. If the spindle wants to rotate, you can take the chuck key, place it in the chuck, and rotate the chuck around until the key binds. I'll use a cold chisel to remove the chuck. There's a gap between the chuck and the spindle. I'll place the cold chisel in that gap and then use a hammer to pop the chuck free. Now I can install the new chuck. Again, I'll open the chuck as wide as it'll go. Now I'll place the chuck onto the spindle. You'll notice there's a groove milled in the back and I'll align that groove with the ears on the spindle. I'll strike the chuck with a rubber mallet to make sure it's seated onto the spindle. And I'll replace the retaining screw. And that's how easy it is to replace the chuck on your drill. Be sure to check back often for new videos and expert advice. If you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment.